welcome back to my channel. Just getting ready to leave the house. We are going on a road trip today, so I thought I'd take you with me. It's gonna be a really frugal, strip back trip, no frills, just us as a family on an adventure. And that is literally why I started this channel. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys what we are gonna get up to. Uh, we're actually going down to Devon. Never been to this place before. And I booked it this week on Airbnb in a place called Axminster, I think. And we're going to Lyme Regis and Charmouth. Now I've been to Devon so many times. Stu's family's from Devon. I've been to Cornwall all my life, every summer, but never to this part. So I'm really looking forward to it. And it's actually George that has sort of inspired this trip because he really wanted to go. I'm gonna put you over here because it's really dark. He really wanted to go and hunt for dinosaur fos fossils. So that's what we're doing and hopefully we're gonna find some, I'm not sure if we will. Um, but yes, I'll take you along with us. I'll share any info in the description bar. If you're new here, I'm Lara. Thanks for being here. If you wanna subscribe, I share videos all about frugal and slow living and finances and living your best life on a budget. So hopefully this will inspire you to just book an adventure. If you can't get away this year abroad, there's plenty of beautiful things on our doorstep here in the UK. So yes, looking forward to this one, let's go. So just to show you how we sort of do it, the boys have a bag each like this, which they pack themselves. Let me double check. Um, we've got our sand castle making equipment here and there's some bits underneath. This is my bag. I'll show you that later. In love with that. Uh, and then we've got coats and then we have um, some food to take. So we'll have breakfast at the room that we're staying in, coffee for today so we don't have to buy it when we're out, drinks for the boys so we don't have to buy it while we're out, and then breakfast for them if they want it in the morning and just some snacks. So yeah, and then Stu's bags there, and then we've got all the beach towels in there. So we are good to go. Now we have, let me open it one-handed, that in there is all our picnic, so depending on what time it is, we'll probably do it while we are driving, if not we'll do it when we get there. We're in about sort of half an hour, 45 minutes into the journey. I'll show you what's coming up. Basically, everyone's sort of rubbernecks here to look at the site because it's obviously a World Heritage site. Uh, but we've been past it probably 50 times, more, maybe yeah, more. more, more <laughs> so for us, it's just part of the journey. Uh, but it, I was just going to say that it's so much easier now traveling with children. So if you are in the thick of it in the early days, then we know what it's like. But now they have got their devices with um, Netflix and I think Disney put on there and they've just downloaded some films onto there so they get to watch that for half the journey and then they've been doing trading Pokemon cards and Top Trumps and stuff like that so yes hopefully we're not going to take too much longer it's saying an hour and 29 minutes so it's now 11 so I think we might need to have a bit of a car snack but not the picnic I think we'll wait I think what we're saying is we're going to go to Lyme Regis today and then Charmouth tomorrow because in Lyme Regis there's a really nice what's it called babes? Uh, Anamite pavement. Anamite pavement. So we've been told to try and head to that, but that's a bit of a walk. So maybe we'll eat lunch. There's loads of massive Anamite fossils in stone, but you have to walk along the beach to get there. <laughs> apparently, um, and we have to check the tide as well because apparently you can't get there if the tide oh, yeah. is in, or oh, yeah, you get cut off so if the tide is in. So you just need to double check. That. Yes, but let me show you what is ahead, and it is so busy up here as well. Obviously, it's an really amazing today. day to go. Because there's loads of camper vans all the way along. Yeah, I wonder if they have got like an event on. Look, over there, see? It must be, there's mm. coaches, all sorts. Yeah, but coaches, that's to drop people, right? Mm. To go and see it, but yeah. I wonder if I could ride out here. You probably could, you've probably ridden quite close. To I would have been past this, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, been, <laughs> definitely been past it. This road just brings back so many memories. Like we've driven along it so many times and just like stopped at different places because when the children were little, we'd have to stop a lot. Whereas now we should go full all the way without any need for the loo breaks. Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm getting older, my bladder's not what it was. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be me now. <laughs> I've got a Diet Coke, but I don't drink it because as soon as I drink it, it goes straight through me. I'm so old. We were just listening to the news and there was a former CEO of Iceland on there, didn't catch his name, and he was talking about how the food prices, wholesale prices have come down, but they're not being reflected in the supermarkets, which is just so naughty, isn't it? Like they're not passing that down because like he was saying, they're very quick to get it straight up if the prices go up, but never actually to reflect when they come down. Yeah. And the same with fuel as well. Fuel's coming down, but it's not being shown in the prices. We were saying that obviously you want the farmers and everyone that's producing the food to 
get the profit, but it's actually sitting with the supermarket chains by the sounds of it from that report that they're actually not passing it down. So I actually, I'm really still affected by a story that I heard the other day about milk, formula milk for babies and how people are sort of having to steal it because there's, they can't afford it. And I just, that breaks my heart. I think it's so sad that we've come to that situation. In fact, someone might have, I think it was on here, commented about that on my, one of my videos recently. How like that could be allowed to happen, that babies are going without food. It's really, really sort of frightening, really. us about 30 minutes to find a car parking space. We went down to Monmouth Beach Park, it's near a sea animite trail. In a row there, no? And now we've literally got one and there's three spaces in a row. Oh, no. But anyway, we asked the universe, the universe delivered. Let's go to the beach. What have you found? Is it just stuck there? Try and tap try and just tap it, see if it falls. Oh it's ever so well balanced on there. Oh no! You have to try and pop it up now. <laughs> what did you? Like Stonehenge? Just trying past that. So if you can hear me over the wind, that's where we've come from, the Yacht Club. Well actually not the Yacht Club, but the harbour. And we parked all the way up there. Just walked all the way down the hill. And this is the beach, parts of Stony. Mostly Stony. A little bit of sand going on. And where we want to go is over there, but I think the tide's in and it's not going to be passable. We'll see if the tide goes out. Oh, uh -huh. I smashed the stone on the inside. Came like this. Wow. Thought it was going to be a fossil. Not going to lie. So George and his dad have walked over there. Because George has been desperate to look for the fossils oh, and we don't want to go yet so we're going to sit here for a sec and they're going to have a little stretch of the legs and then hopefully come back and tell us where they all are and then we're all going to go down. The exciting thing is that all of these, we wanted to go for actual thermos, they were all £30 and I was like, oh, that's quite a lot of money. So what I did was check for it in a different colour, this is on Amazon, bronze colour, was coming out at £14. So picked one of these up and this is going to be coffee for our road trips and any time we're going out. And this is the very first one and apparently it keeps things hot for 45 40 24 hours and cold for 24 hours so uh, yeah a little tip if you are a coffee fiend like we are we just roasted up our roasted roasted we didn't roast it I'm not roast here roast roast here Oh wow, that is humongous. Can you even see that? Probably just see my reflection, can you? And there's treasure in here. Any animites? Here we go. What's that? Is that an animite? Is that a look at it? Oh, that's the wrong side. It's there, look. Yeah, on the corner. On the corner. There's another little one, teeny tiny. You'd have to be keenest of sight. Well, I was, I was. That's not that one, is it? That's a bit of shell. Alright, sometimes you get fake ones. <laughs> Can't happen to get everything, can we? <laughs> and then what's this giant thing? Oh yeah, we see that one. Brilliant. And we got my favourite personal favourite. This one. Yeah. 
discovered in Gran Canaria that this little guy has got quite the throwing arm on him. Wow, good catch! So, yeah, I don't know if there's any like American football clubs in the UK, I'm not sure. Whoa! But he's really good at it. What did you get? Little prawn. Oh, teeny prawn. Oh my gosh, it's micro. Oh my goodness. Good spot. As soon as we get to the beach, Shorty's asking to dig a hole. It's not easy today. It's not a very big one so far. Well, there's, lots of, look at that. No. <laughs> there's huge stones no. in there. We did find a really sandy bit up there actually and we were saying how nice would it be if you were staying in one of these caravans you could just pop down and have these guys next to us having a massive barbecue. And you could just have this first thing in the morning, come for a little dip. Would you do a cold water swim? I think I would definitely try it, but I bet it would be crazy. Epic. <laughs> He's so happy. He's so happy, show his daddy. So sweet seeing him so excited about I think it's just that peace when you come to the beach. You feel like this, but I feel really at peace when you're near the sea. And actually something about the human brain needing water for relaxation. I would love to live by the sea. We both we've been speaking about this for ages, but it's just yeah, not the time, right time of life, but would love to do it in the future. Oh, this is it's too bright. It's too bright for a chat. So we're going to see if we can hit that stone there. Oh, close. That one. Yay, well done. Ten points. Let's try and hit the one behind it. Yes, 20 points. Actual sauna here. I was going to show you this because it is so much busier this side. So where we went was the other side near the Anamite. I'm a night step, and this is like money. Busy. <laughs> yeah, if you can, go right, <laughs> don't go left. Some Morris dancers. Look at this, the whole thing is sandy. I didn't get it. Literally, where we were was stony. You wanted to dig a hole. There's a big old hole there. Whee! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more up here, isn't there? Oh. So we've had a bit of a disaster guys. We've checked into our Airbnb and the clean has not been from yesterday so there is stuff everywhere from whoever last stayed there. It may not even have been last night to be fair. Um, so we're just waiting for a call back from the host. Oh, it's, it's cute here, the George Hotel. Um, because if we can't get in there tonight, we're trying to feed the children, we're going to cook dinner there. But now we're thinking we might have to eat out. So anyway, let's look around the It's cute. And um, let's see what we can see. Stephen T. Rowe, cute. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, I thought it was a oh, candy massive store. ammonite. That's a candy store. I know, I thought it was like oh, um, antiques, but it is not. You can't really come to the West Country without getting a pasty. Oh, a pasty and a cream tea. Jam and cream or cream and jam, which goes first? Comment below. Jam on the bottom, cream on <laughs> the top. saying, jam on the bottom, cream on the top. I never know the answer to this question. I always think jam first and then the cream on the top. Yeah, Did you say that? Right. Yeah, because otherwise it gets very mang like mushed up together. But let me know, because I think Cornwall is the other way around, isn't it? George Hotel. One of those, they're tiny for you big guys. So, not having the best luck, we are now at a pub in Berezis. 
just outside Axminster. Yeah, just outside because there was nowhere open in Axminster. There was nowhere to stay in Axminster. And the lady that runs the Airbnb has disappeared. Not got back in touch with me. She said she can't get hold of a cleaner, doesn't know what to do. Uh, we've looked for other places to stay and there's basically nowhere to stay. Well, there, there is if you don't mind paying. Well, yeah, that's not. <laughs> surprise, surprise! Sunday night on a bank holiday, Monday, it's everywhere is either em either completely full or the one room they've got left they're charging a king's ransom for. Yeah, which um, we're not going to do. But yeah, that's a disappointed lady. She's literally disappeared. Not, off, not offered any sort of help, no solution, no sort of just like, oh, I, I'm four hours away and I don't know what to do. I will, right? I'm annoyed actually because I didn't show you what the place was like. It was all. Yeah like someone obviously they've been staying there last night or whenever and there's okay. rubbish everywhere the right. beds were all pulled apart like bed linen everywhere like towels wet towels all over the floor like you just wouldn't want to stay there yeah, we could drive um, back that's that there. what to show them yeah so now we've just bought some dinner out which was annoying because we were just going to eat at the house and just grab something from the shops but can't do that um so it's either go home two, three hours or pay £750 for a room which we ain't going to do so we're going to eat because we're hungry it's now 7 o'clock and the, the hanger's setting in so we need to eat and then we'll have a play head to the side of the he spotted a ball of course he's going to go and play football down the hill oh he's found this tractor he's going to ride down the hill oh. the smallest thing I've ever seen <laughs> So we've eaten. <laughs> Hello, baby. So we've eaten and decided that we are going to head home now because the lady has literally not responded responded to me on text on the phone, and we've been here two and a half hours waiting. So yeah, that's not good. So I don't know what to do because if I request a refund or cancellation then I don't know if I can leave feedback so I don't want anyone else to have this experience but then I don't know if I don't know what she's doing she's not come back to me so I don't want to do negative um, feedback if she's sorting something but she's not phoned me or texting back and replied to any messages on, Insta on um, Airbnb so yeah that's the end of that road trip baby yeah, what a disaster disappointing that she's not um, come back to us yeah, don't know what we'll do to be honest with you. So um, I'll say bye now because I might not film tomorrow if we're just staying at home or something. Because I don't want to drive back to the beach because it takes so long to get there because of the traffic on a sunny day on a bank yeah, holiday. It'd be, be another like two hour journey, so no point doing that. But anyway, that was our frugal day out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, but it wasn't too frugal because we had to pay for dinner in the end. We're getting money back now, so work out cheap. Actually, yeah, we'll hopefully get a refund from them. Well, I will get a refund because obviously we can't stay there. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this trip. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you really soon.